If you find that the process of finding the plugin you want to use inside of Pro Tools is taking up a bunch of your time and it's just kind of this little time suck inside of your mixing session, I have three different solutions for you. One that you probably know, but two that you probably don't, and I think you're going to like them. What's up everyone, if you are new to the channel, my name is Malcolm Ownflood and I teach DIY audio. And as mentioned, I want to show you three different ways to load up a plugin inside of Pro Tools and make that process faster and smoother and easier, more intuitive, so that you can spend more time actually mixing or making music rather than looking at a big list of plugins. The first option I'm gonna show you is pretty common and some of you may already be aware of this method, but the other two methods coming later in this video are a lot less well known, but they're actually also more customizable and faster. So stick around for those. Okay. Okay, on to method number one. This is really simple. Just click as if you're going to insert a plugin, go up to search and literally type in what you're looking for. Classic example, click, and it just looks for the word that has click in any plugin name. Quick, it's easy. If you're a good typer, you're not going to have a problem with that. But what about those other two methods? Well, for option two, let's look at the customizable defaults that Pro Tools allows you to select. So you'll notice that when I click to insert a plugin, there's two options standing here. There's FabFilter Pro Q3 and CLA76. And these are two options that I actually manually selected. This FabFilter Pro Q3 is selected as my default EQ and CLA76 is selected as my default Dynamics plugin. And you can select that for yourself to be whatever plugin you would prefer. If you go to Pro Tools, Settings, over to Mixing, and then just in this first setup window, there's a default EQ and a default Dynamics. Select that drop down window, select whatever plugin in that category you would like, and those will now show up top of the list whenever you try and select a plugin. For me, FabFilter Pro Q3 is like my Swiss Army knife tool that I use more than any other plugin. So having that available just a click away is like a must. But that only gives you two plugins and only in the EQ and Dynamics category. So what if you wanted to have an amp sim on hand or, you know, any any effects plugin? Well, there's a method to do that. That's going to be our third method. To show you what this is going to look like, select as if you're going to add a plugin and hover over that plugin window. And now you can see that I've got above my categories here four different options. And these were all manually selected by me. And it's really simple to do. If you want to select your own, all you're going to do is go into the plugin window again. Let's just go to our reverbs for the sake of this example. And let's say we wanted to select Super Plate, the new Sound Toys plugin, Super Plate. Hold Command and then click. You'll notice that this doesn't launch the plugin. It doesn't open the plugin. But what it did do is add it to my customizable favorites list. So now I can click and go into plugins, and Super Plate is now available in that list. Bam. So you can really customize your workflow to be very quick. I know there's also track presets, which can be another video. Personally, I don't drive with track presets because I don't like the default chain of plugins. I just like being able to find the tool that I want really quick. So for me, this final option is the quickest way that I've found to be able to do that. If this video is helpful, please do consider giving this video a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. It helps this channel grow a lot so I can keep doing this. I love it. And thank you for all the support so far. And if you want a free mixing resource, there's one down below in the description of this video called Standout Mixes. It teaches you how to level up your mixes without having to buy any more plugins or anything like that. So do go check that out as well. People have been loving it. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. There's one right here or maybe here. I can never remember which side. Well, anyways, I'll see you there. Bye.